Happy 4th of July. In America, it is a celebration of our independence. I want to talk about our flag for a moment. Our current flag is as I am holding up right here with 50 stars. The original flag was designed around this theme of 13 stripes, red and white, and a field of blue representing 13 stars that represented a new constellation. Our current flag, like the one I'm holding up here, was designed by a high school student. It was a project to see what the new flag would look like. He was 17 years of age in 1957, and it was a project to, to kind of brainstorm about what our flag would look like once the states were admitted into the Union of Alaska and Hawaii, making 50 stars, 50 states. And he designed this. But it's interesting that he was given a B- minus by his instructor. His instructor could not see the vision of how great it really was in design. Well, together we celebrate independence today. It is a time to come together to realize under God we are a union under God we can do all things. And truly, it has become a shining city on a hill for the world. It is a pleasure to be a citizen of the United States of America, where a dream like this can be realized, where there is freedom of religion, where a person can start something and then have the freedom to make it go big. And I pray that you realize those same freedoms. We all pray that, no matter where we are in the world. We want to use our God-given gifts to be the best that we can be, to make something out of our lives. Therefore, allowing it to flow forth from us and to make something of our surroundings and even our country. I wish you a happy 4th of July, and wherever you are in the world, I wish you a happy celebration of freedom and the rights that we have as children of God.